Be honest with me, how many times have you confidently sent your design files to a developer only for them to come back and say, hey, the spacing is off here, or this button isn't using the right style, or even worse, the color contrast fails accessibility guidelines. I'll admit, I've been there multiple times and it's frustrating, right? Sometimes it's even a little embarrassing because you thought everything was perfect. You spent hours polishing those screens, making sure everything looked good, and then, one small inconsistency ruins the whole hand of experience. The worst part? These aren't even the big design decisions. It's never like, hey, we don't like your overall direction. It's always something tiny, like you use a 16 pixel padding instead of 20 pixels, or you grab the color from outside your design system because you were moving too fast. Well, today, I want to show you something that can actually save you from that headache. Zeppelin recently launched a brand new feature called AI Design Review. It's like having an extra set of expert eyes that automatically checks your design files for mistakes, layout inconsistencies, off-system styles, accessibility issues, even spelling errors. Basically, it makes sure your designs are actually ready for handoff to devs. Now, before we dive into the AI design review feature specifically, let me take a step back for anyone who's never used Zeppelin before. Because I know some of you might be thinking, wait, what even is Zeppelin? At its core, Zeppelin is a design delivery platform. Think of it as the bridge between design and development. You take your Figma or Sketch files and bring them into Zeppelin, and it becomes this organized workspace where developers can inspect your designs, grab exact specs, download assets, and see everything they need to build your UI accurately. But it's more than just a handoff tool. Teams also use Zeppelin as a source of truth since the dashboard holds the latest designs, components, style guides, everything in one place. But here's where it gets even better. With this new AI design review feature, Zeppelin goes from being just a handoff tool to being your quality assurance partner. It's not just organizing your designs anymore. It's actively helping you catch mistakes before they reach developers. And trust me, that changes everything about how you approach design delivery. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how AI design review works, show you a real example from one of my past projects, and explain why this might genuinely be a game changer for your workflow, especially if you've ever felt that panic right before hitting send on a dev handoff. All right, so I've got a demo project here that I recently worked on. It's a task management app, pretty standard stuff, cards, buttons, tags, and a progress bar. I thought everything was good to go. I've already done my own review, checked my spacing, made sure my components are consistent. Or so I thought. Let me show you what happens when we run this through Zeppelin's AI design review. So I've already uploaded my design into Zeppelin. And if you've never done this before, it's super simple. You just use their Figma plugin, select the frame you want to send over, and boom, it's in Zeppelin. Takes like 10 seconds. Here you can easily inspect the project. You can check out the CSS on the right hand side and check the spacing here. Now here is the new part. When you select this project on your dashboard, you will see the request reviews option. If you open it up, you will see the AI design review option down here. This is the feature that has been recently launched. And when I click on it, I can specify what I'd like the AI to focus on. I'm going to select spelling and grammar, layout, contrast, color, textile, spacing, and component use. Now I'm going to hit review screen, and Zeppelin's AI starts scanning through every single screen in my project, looking for potential issues. Okay, so while it's processing, let me explain what it's actually checking for. The AI runs through four main categories of issues. First up, spelling and grammar. This might sound basic, but you'd be shocked how often typos slip through. Button labels, error messages, placeholder text, anything with copy gets checked. This has saved me so many times because I'm usually so focused on the visual design that I'm not carefully reading every single word on the screen. But users definitely will, and so will your stakeholders. Second, layout issues. This is where things get interesting. The AI is looking at spacing, padding, margins, alignment, all the things that should be consistent across your designs, but sometimes aren't. Maybe you used 24 pixel spacing in one section and 20 pixels in another. Maybe a button is two pixels off from where it should be. These are the kinds of things that are hard to catch manually because your eye just doesn't pick up on them when you're zoomed out looking at the whole screen. Third, 
Accessibility. The AI checks color contrast ratios to make sure your text is actually readable for everyone, including people with visual impairments. It looks at font sizes to ensure they meet accessibility standards. And fourth, style guide checks. This is all about design system consistency. Did you use a text style from your library or did you manually adjust the font? Did you use a proper spacing token or just eyeball it? Did you use a component from your design system or create a one-off version? Are you using colors from your brand palette or did you pick something random? This is the stuff that keeps your designs scalable and maintainable over time. And the AI is really good at catching when you're straight from your system, even if it's just slightly. Okay, the review is done, let's see what it found. Whoa, all right, I've got 11 issues flagged here. That's more than I expected, but let's go through them one by one. Here's the first one, raw color usage. It's saying that this raw color is used on three text layers and it doesn't match any existing style in my design system. It's actually suggesting I create a new color variable and apply it to these layers. This is honestly such a common mistake. Sometimes you're moving fast, you pick a color that looks right, but you forget to actually create a proper color style for it. And and when you're using the same color across multiple places, that's a perfect candidate for a token. Super easy to fix. I just need to create that color variable and link these layers to it. Next one, component override. This is interesting. I modified the padding on this button component and Zeppelin's flagging it because it's different from the base component in my library. This kind of inconsistency can stick in when you're iterating fast and it's exactly the type of thing that breaks your design system over time. Next, missing text style. The text layer review project proposal isn't linked to a design system style. And here is what's interesting. It says the properties currently match text medium, but it's not formally linked. So even though it looks right, if I ever update the text style in my system, this layer won't get the update. It's suggesting I apply the text medium style properly. This is super common when you duplicate elements or make quick edits. Next, contrast issue. Here is a big one this personal tag. The text color on this light background has a contrast ratio of only 2.22 to 1, but it needs to be at least 4.5 to 1 to meet the accessibility standards. So either the foreground or the background needs to change to meet the guidelines. And here we have the same contrast issue on another tag. See, this is why having AI check this stuff is so valuable. It catches the pattern across your entire design. Next one, we have a spelling and grammar issue. I forgot to add a period at the end of this task description. Super small detail, but it matters for consistency and polish. This text also uses title case, but my other task titles use sentence case. And here at the top, we have a layout issue. It's saying I should round the X coordinate to either 220.5 pixels or 220 pixels. Now, sometimes you get these super specific layout warnings that you might want to ignore. And here's the cool part. You can actually chat with the AI down here and tell it what to ignore. Watch this. I'm just going to type ignore the decimals and boom, all the warnings about decimal positioning will be gone. Now, one important thing to mention. In order for Zeppelin to check your text styles, color styles, and spacing properly, you need to connect your style guide to your project. But it's super easy to do. You just run Zeppelin's Figma plugin and export your text styles and color styles with one click. Or even better, you can use Style Guide Sync, which automatically keeps your libraries in Zeppelin up to date. You just go to your workspace, click on Style Guides at the top, and hit Import Library from Figma. Then any changes you make to your design system will automatically sync over. Super convenient, isn't it? That's it. Then the AI knows what your design system looks like and can check against it. So if you're a designer who wants to deliver cleaner files, keep developers happy, avoid embarrassing mistakes like typos or accessibility issues slipping into production, and just generally feel more confident about your handoffs, you should definitely give Zeppelin's AI design review a try. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can check it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have an awesome day and see you soon.